Uh, how did the band first get started? So we started it about two and a half years ago. Um, we basically, as a way to make a bit of money, because uh, basically we were like playing in like, other smaller bands, right? And then um, sort of after lockdown, straight after lockdown, we started me, Ben, bass player called Liam, uh, started just going around the pubs, like local pubs, like in Kent. And then basically sort of six months after that, we sort of more moved to the bluesier side of things. Mm. So did that for about a year and a half, just playing the pubs. And then literally about a month before we came to Bally Shannon last year, we went full time, came to Bally Shannon, and then things have been pretty good ever since really, to be honest with you. It's been great. Thank you. I mean, to be honest, last year, when we first came, we had no idea what we were expecting. <laughs> we were playing like tiny, like little pubs back home, sort of like playing four or five gigs a week. And when we came over here, my God, like it was like, what is going on over here? And I mean, mental, absolutely mental. It's honestly been such a pleasure. This is one of the nicest places we've ever been. And uh, I hope we can come back all the time. Yeah, next year? You reckon next year? Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honour to come here and play for you. Thank you very much. Now we wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for a little song that we did a cover of about a year ago, and uh, it goes something like this. What did you ever? 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 Did you ever? I'm Ben Schultz, uh, I'm from Kent in England and at the moment I'm in Ballyshannon for the Rory Gallagher Festival. And why do you think Rory Gallagher is such a popular festival? You guys flew the place wide open. I don't know, I don't know how we got this because like this is just such an honour for a band like us from Kent to travel hundreds of miles to come over and play here. I think Rory Gallagher has a special place here, I think, in Bally Shannon, and it's, it's quite magical. Yeah, I'm Ant Greenwell, I'm from the Zach Schultz Gang, and we're in Bally Shannon at the Rory Gallagher International Tribute Festival. So you started playing a knockout concert. Why do you come to the Rory Gallagher Festival? Uh, I've come to the Rory Gallagher Festival because uh, we got asked to come here and we just we, we cancelled eight gigs. We just had to be here because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity in a, a beautiful place. We just have to be here. You said you really, really loved here though. Is there a reason why you like here in particular? Say again, sorry? Is there a reason why you like here in particular? You mentioned that on stage. So. The people here are just so lovely. We, we know, we've never had so many people come up and say such nice things and they really appreciate music. We're like, we're like Before we're musicians, we're fans. You know, we're, we love music especially blues and rock from the 60s, 70s onwards, even before 50s and 40s, we listen to everything. And to meet so many people that are passionate about music, it, it, it's, it's lovely. So on the last day, last year, in, at the festival, um, I don't know, I thought it'd be nice to do a song about the experience. I mean, the only, the only reason we wrote it really was because we were really blown away by what was going on here, you know what I mean, mm. for us, you know. Um, so we went to the beach in Wasson now, I think. That's Wasson, a good pronunciation. You know. yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> went to the beach there, wrote it on acoustic guitar. We played it in uh, Dicey Riley's yeah. uh, that night. Um, and it's all about, you know, like I guess coming from a small town back home to yeah. come into somewhere like this and there were many moments last year where you know me and all my mates were like they all came last year they're all here this year as well in fact more of them have come this year we're all kind of sitting there going how have we gotten here how, what are we doing here you know what I mean yeah, and yeah. like that's what the whole thing's about you know and about I think no matter what we're doing if we can come back here every year things are alright you know what I'm saying you know <laughs> so it doesn't matter <laughs> um, so what do you think is that ghost? well we were very 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 impressed with them when we were here last year Actually, we probably came away thinking that, you know, those guys were the, the highlight of the festival. Yeah. And to see them back in the tent, or sorry, back this year and in the tent, yeah. what can I say? Yeah. Great to see the young talent getting that recognition. Gone. Okay, so how are you feeling before you go to stage? I feel good. I've got a cigarette, a can of Guinness. I'm ready. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Well, I was playing around in my little hometown 
just about two years now Until we have to get a bell and change the now And ferry out of town Well, it's the place we know where the Guinness goes Home and off on the road Well, it's the place we know where people stay To watch back to our left way But I'm a million miles away And I'll be there tonight to say Fairly shattered to my blues Oh, let me hear Well, I'm a million miles away Space of three days. It's insane. I, I literally like this is a this environment I've never experienced before. I've never experienced an environment like this before. No, no. And like, no. Well, what do you think of Eve just famous or what music? I don't know. I think the fact that there's like music like 24/7 pretty much across the weekend means there's just there's just nothing to worry about. Like it's just like so chill for me. Like it's so chill. Like because. We've played gigs and like we've toured in like other bands, but when we when we came over here, we like drove into Valley Shadow. We were like, this is the most picturesque place I think we've ever seen in my life. Yeah. And uh, the sun was like rising, and uh, we listened to some blues music. I can't remember what we listened to. Joe Bonamassa probably. Zach just loves it. He's a little fanboy. Why do you like uh, Ronnie Gallagher? What does Ronnie Gallagher mean to you? I'll, I'll be completely honest, I didn't know, <laughs> really, I didn't really listen to Rory Gallagher yeah. until like probably like two years ago. Yeah. Uh, Zach, the guitarist, is well into his blues, so obviously he's a big influence on Zach. And uh, Zach showed me this song uh, as a Bullfrog Blues cover that Rory Gallagher did, um, and they showed me the video of it, and I was like, this is like, this is rock and roll, like incarnate, like this is like the epitome of rock and roll, like. And uh, he showed me that video, and I was just watching the drummer as well. And the drummer was just, oh, so fast. It's like punk. It's all like punk music. It's all like punk. I used to be like punk bands. But uh, I think uh, for me, it's that blues can be a bit of everything. You don't have to. You don't have to like fit it into a, a circle. But you can. You can expand it. You can make it faster. You can make it slower. As long as the feelings there, that's all that matters, I think. What do you think about Rory Gallagher as a musician? Like, how did you get into him? He's Well, I only got into Rory Gallagher maybe a couple of years ago. My guitar player showed me a video of him playing All Frog Blues oh, yeah. live. And he just watched how he commands a whole crowd of people. Yeah. They're just at his fingertip, you know, they're yeah. at, on his whim. And he's just, well, he's one of the best guitarists ever. It really is. And uh, just a uh, last question. What does the blues mean for you? The blues is everything because we played in punk metal indie rock bands and it's only after learning the blues that i realized that everything is the blues you, if you learn the blues you can play literally anything. jazz it all stems from the blues it's, it's the origin of everything and it's it's music 
How well, much of an influ influence was like Rory Gallagher to you? Well, uh, we run a local jam night at the ship in Gillingham, and a friend of mine, Marcus Mark, he turned me on to Bullfrog Blues. Mm. From Bullfrog Blues, it was basically going through the back catalogue. Um, I think there's something about. Um, you know Rory's energy and how simple he was. You know what I mean in terms of he had a strat, an amp, a lead. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, I think that's what I really respect, respect about his playing. And I mean, he's a great guitar player. But the other thing I, I love about him is his songwriting as well. You know, mm. his songwriting is second to none. You know, so a massive influence. But it's so good. Like, uh, it's a really nice like family atmosphere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everyone knows everyone, which is great about it. So, and there's so many good bands on all weekend. It's just, I mean, to be honest, it's probably my favourite weekend of the year. To be honest with you, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Well, the last year you guys were like the talk of the place. I was yeah, yeah. I'm not just saying that. Like everybody was talking about. Yeah. You. <laughs> It was yeah, it was it was quite something. It was it was unbelievable to me. So like we kind of came home and we had to like take a week to sort of sit back and go, what's just happened? You know what I mean? It's <laughs> mad, but it's so nice. Like, everyone here is so nice and like everyone's always looked after us. You know what I mean? And yeah. the people buying merch and all that, it all helps. You know what I mean? So we really do appreciate it. You know? Do you think there's such a thing as Irish blues or not? Or whatever answer you want to. Know. Well, I mean, like I guess if you're from Ireland, and you play the blues. You're probably going to be influenced by it you know, the music that is coming. I mean, that's the other thing with Rory as well, like some of the traditional stuff he mm. kind of plays, you know what I mean? Maybe people aren't even realizing what it is that he's playing, yeah. but it's probably got its roots pretty traditional, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And there's a lot of stuff, especially when you listen to him play certain solos, and then he'll go on the mandolin, yeah. you can kind of hear the differences. So I guess, you know, I mean, Rory's kind of a guy that maybe proves the point that there is, you know yeah. what I mean? Like a cat that's playing, the part of time that you call my heart Oh, but baby, is it so hard To tell it to a part And so slowly you are winding Till I fall 